Okay, welcome once again to our port forwarding videos. Uh, in this video, our router is the Bowtech router. Any model, it's the same because they have the same interface. Let's say uh, that we want to open uh, 57,000 port number and 62,100 to 62,300 port numbers. Please remember that you, before you begin the port forwarding, you need to have a statically assigned an IP address to your computer. If you do not know that how to do that, please refer to our first video. Uh, before we begin, we need to know our router's IP address and the computer's IP address. So let's uh, go to Network and Sharing Center from Control Panel. Here it is. Okay, click on the change adapter settings if you are running Windows 7 or look for the manage network connections if you are running Windows Vista. Click on that. And left click on local area connection. Uh, if you are running if you are connecting by wireless, look for the wireless area connection. Select then properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click properties. Okay, so you should have a similar screen like this one in your computer. If you have the obtaining IP address automatically selected, your computer hasn't a static IP address, so uh, you need to do that before you continue. So once again, refer to our first video. It will be very helpful, I think. So as we can see here, the IP address of this computer is 192.168.1.10 and the def default gateway which is in fact our router's IP address is 192.168.1.1 let's close all of these windows okay let's see if the port numbers are currently open in our computer. Let's check for the 57,000 port for TCP. And let's check for UDP. Okay, you see that in both uh, cases your port is not open or not reachable. A uh, few words for this tool, uh, this support checker tool. Uh, the, the download link is in the video's description, so please download and install it in order for in order for you to check if the port forwarding uh, was successful. Okay, let's minimize that. Now. To access your router's interface, open a web browser of your choice, in this case Google Chrome, and in the address field type your router's IP address. In this case is 192.168.1.1 and click enter. Okay, you'll be prompt for the administrator username and password. Let's type them. Uh, the default username and admin pass for Bodox routers is uh, username admin and password 1234 but uh, if you have a different one please look for a sticker on the router uh, it should have that kind of information so let's click login again okay, this is your router's interface at first uh, let's click on the advanced setup and in the first screen please remember to disable the CPI option if you do not disable the port forwarding will not work uh, so disable and click save okay then go to NAT and then to virtual server Rule index, let's say 1. If you already have some ports open, just click on the next uh, index. Uh, in the application, type a net, uh, name, 
doesn't matter what name you will type, just for reference. Okay, let's let's see, uh, let's say Geeks 101. In the protocol, leave it to all. It's for both TCP and UDP. Start port number. We want to open, as we said, the uh, 57,000. So start port number 57,000 and end end port number. 57,000 also. In the local IP address tab your computer's IP address. In this case is 192.168.1.10 and click save. Okay, but we also need to open the 62,100 to 62,300 no port numbers. So select uh, uh, two to add another rule in the name let's type geeks 102 <laughs> anyway protocol again all start point number type 62100 and in the end for number 62000 300. In the local IP address, once again type your computer's IP address. Okay, click save. Okay, as you created, uh, as you can see, we have created the two rules for the port forwarding. So we forward the port 57000 to 192.168.1.10 computer and the ports from 62,100 to 62,300 once again to the same computer okay let's check if we were successful so open our port checker tool let's see at first for the 57,000 for the TCP okay you see that your port is open now in this computer okay for UDP also once again we are okay and let's try 62110 for TCP again for UDP okay one more just for fun 62299 it's in the range TCP. Okay, it's open. Okay, so we have the green light. So that was the port forwarding in the Bowtech router. I hope y uh, you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.